Hi, it's Aurelius. In this demo, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to create your first guide in Read Ready. So at the top corner, you'll see Create. All right, so that was pretty impressive, right? In just one click, I was able to edit the video, change those layouts using AI, and I'm gonna show you exactly what tool can do this for you. All right, so the very tool is called Teller. It's made specifically for non-techies and those who don't wanna mess around with complicated editing software such as Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. Instead, you as a creator, entrepreneur, course creator, or anyone who wants to create quick videos and how-tos can use this and get your videos up and running. I've personally been using Teller since 2023 to create my product demos, how-tos, tutorials, not the videos specifically on my YouTube channel, but things that I want to share with my internal staff, those who want to get a little bit of a how-to and anything that I simply want to record and publish really quickly. So you can create your videos for your online course that you want to monetize, product demos to showcase your product, how-to videos, or if you're a creator wanting to build your personal brand, Teller can do it all for you. What they've just dropped is this brand new feature called Auto Layouts, where it finds the best moments on your screen and yourself and switches between your screen and yourself in the best possible way so that it makes it more interactive, more engaging, and it makes it look like a pro editor edited your video. I'll run a few segments of this so you can see where it actually cut and put in those layouts. In this instance, we've got myself in the full screen mode. And then when I switch here, you'll see in the timeline, it's now switched from just myself to the screen and you'll see a little bubble there. And you'll see another example right here where it then switches to me. So the focus is on me as opposed to the screen. And honestly, this is a game changing feature. Usually when I edit my own videos, that's what I like to do with that effect going from me to the screen or the combination of it. And this would take much, much longer to do as I need to do it manually. Now, let me walk you through on how to actually use Teller and get started. To get started with Teller, use a link in the description box below that will take you to this page and and you'll get a free seven day trial. So give it a try, see how it works. And there's no credit card required upon sign up. The great thing is if you use my link, you get 30% off, making it just $8 per month paid on a yearly basis. To record your first Teller video, all you need to do is hit that record button on the dashboard. This will give you a couple of options. You can use the web app version or you can use the native Mac OS app. To make this video more universal, I'm just going to use use web app. At this point, this is where you want to turn on your microphone and your webcam. So in this instance, what I'm going to do is use my own built-in laptops webcam to make it simple or you can use your iPhone to sync it up. Make sure both are enabled so I've got my Rode pod mic here and also my FaceTime laptop camera there. You also want to share your screen if you are sharing something on screen like a presentation or a demo or a tutorial. We'll click on share screen, select the tab or the window or entire screen if you'd like. Once you've configured your hardware and selected the screen that you want to record, it's time to start recording our actual video. Click on the red button. This will give you three seconds to prepare and switch back to the screen that you actually want to demonstrate your tutorial on. And we're going to do that with Canva as a demonstration. And we'll use that as a basis to start editing the video using Teller. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on the red button. Three, two, one. Hi, it's Aurelius. In this video demo, we're going to run through how to edit a template in Canva. Here I am in Canva. And um, in Canva, you can start with any template you'd like. And any template can be edited by clicking on it. And then we're going to change it a startup guide anything that you see here in terms of elements as well we'll delete this click on elements and we're going to add this specific element to the guide right here once you're done you can simply rinse and repeat the same steps to fine tune it and make it the way that you want but if you have any questions about this video or this part of the course feel free to email me in the meantime thanks so much for watching all right we'll end the video right here switch back to the recorder and then we're going to click on stop and there we go we've got the first clip recorded you can continue recording more and more clips or you can just record it all in one go and edit 
later on. But in this example, we're just gonna click on preview to get to the editing mode. Here we are, we can play it back by clicking on play. Otherwise we can start using some of the editing functions right here. The first thing we are going to wanna do is trim it. And I like to remove the buffers first. So the start and end of it so that there's no pauses or silences right on those sections. So click on remove buffers and in an instant it's done. Next thing are silences. So if you do do want to make your video get straight to the point in a way you can adjust it by going natural where it's got five silences that it's detected fast or faster so if you want more cuts then go for faster so that it gets right to the point or if you do want to make it sound a little more natural so that there are some silences make sure you select natural but we'll go in between by clicking on fast remove nine silences and it's done. You can see in the timeline where those cuts are made and of course, play it back by going here. Let's play it, Canva. Here I am in, and you can see right there what it's done. Furthermore, we've got filler words and it automatically detects those annoying ums, ahs. It's detected one in particular and you may have noticed when I recorded, I intentionally said um. So that's the reason why I wanted to say that. We're gonna remove that and it's somewhere there and you can see that it's now gone. This is all thanks to Magic Trim. Next, what we're gonna do is head to Layout and this is where the new feature is made available. It's, it's called Auto Layout. Before we click that, I wanna show you what it looks like and what it's kind of done uh, so far. So you can see that it just sticks with my face on the right and the screen on the left. It doesn't look too bad, but if you wanna make more engaging and some what more appealing you can use auto layout to do that so let's go head back here click on generate layouts and then you'll see what it's doing by analyzing the video choosing layout style determining the layout timing and applying layouts the time it takes to generate this depends on the length of your video and you'll see in real time exactly what it is doing and right down the bottom and that's it it is done let's play back a few seconds of this so you can see what it's produced Hi, it's Aurelius. In this video demo, we're gonna run through how to edit a template in Canva. Here I am in Canva, and in Canva, you can start with any template you'd like, and any template can be edited by clicking on it, and then we're gonna change it, a startup guide. Anything that you see here in terms of elements is so there's a few seconds of it and you'll see the switching back and forward of me and the screen. Here's another right here and we'll just kind of use the scrubber to go through some of these. And you'll see here where I'm actually talking and wanting to the viewer to actually focus on me. It's done that. Although what I've done is I looked at the wrong camera, but you get the gist of it. The great thing is if you don't like the layouts that it's chosen, you can always click on this regenerate button and then it'll do it once more, but in an entirely different fashion. Otherwise, click on change style, and then you can see the different styles under the different categories, such as demos, tutorials, and presentations. So let's say we wanna switch to a tutorial style. Click that, and then we can update the editing style. And here we go, we've got a different style. I'll just kind of run through it using the scrubber, and here are the effects that it's produced. So more of a rounded circle, and you can see that it zooms out, zooms in, and focusing on the screen this time, then back on me, and then as we go along, the end of the video, you can see that it focuses on me since I'm just talking to the camera. A little note here, auto layout is not entirely perfect. It may not come up with the right layouts for you, but in any instance, you can always go to the timeline and selecting a specific segment, and then we can choose a different layout by clicking on this right here or anywhere or different layouts and styles that you actually like. So you can do that manually as you please. Another useful feature of Teller is zoom. So if you click on zoom, you can select a particular area and let's say we wanna zoom in on this, that what I'm talking about with the text. And then you can enter the zoom amount. We've got 200% here. So now the zoom happens from this end to this end. So let's play it back right here. Be edited by clicking on it and then we're gonna change it. Specifically, you can target what you actually wanna zoom in on. So this little target icon here, let's go down the bottom right there. So now if we play it back with the target yeah. edited by clicking on it, there and we then go. We're gonna, so it's super useful if you wanna emphasize on a particular section of your screen. Side note, if you use the Teller Mac OS app, you do get the ability to generate zooms automatically using auto zoom. Going to backgrounds, you can select the background that you want. So in an instant, it changes 
going for the look that you want. You may also notice the subtitles right here. This is all controlled under subs. You can enable or disable it if you'd like, changing the different styles. And once you're ready to share your video or download it so that you can upload it to places like YouTube or your online course platform, click on download and then it'll give you a few options here and click on start export. Otherwise you can share the video right away so that they can play it all within Teller. Click on share, it'll give you a unique link, copy it. That is how simple it is. So in short, Teller makes it easy for you to record and edit your videos. There's nothing to install, everything's web-based. You can use the auto layout feature as well as Magic Trim to shortcut and make the whole editing process much easier and giving you a really professional look. It's fast, it's clean, and really easy and intuitive to use. Again, link to Teller will be in the description box below and that'll grant you up to 30% off the plans. There's no coupon code required. If you've got any questions about Teller, feel free to drop them in the comments. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and looking forward to what you create. Take care for now.